Everyone remembers the story of the first Thanksgiving. We learned about it in elementary school. Pilgrims and Indians celebrating how by working together, they could change things for the better. The timeless tale is mirrored in modern times as well, especially this year on Public Lands Day when Jeepers from the Lone Peak 4x4 Club and members of the Forest Service showed their thanks by working together to protect our access and our historical legacy. So today we're here for National Public Lands Day and we have a bunch of different groups up here participating today. And these are all groups that are very active in our canyon. This one day each year, all fees on public lands are waived so anyone can come out and enjoy these treasured areas. For some groups though, Public Lands Day means a lot more than just a free pass into a park or access to a trail. We're here at Graveyard Flats protecting this historic area, installing fences, enlarging the area. The project today isn't just about trail access though. Graveyard Flats is the only remnant left of the old mining town of Forest City. In the 50s uh, there was a fence built around it, a white picket fence, that lasted for about 40 years before it kind of fell to the, the harsh winters and just uh, disrepair. So here we are today to uh, amend that problem. We had our logs, they were in Heber, so our Forest Service employees went and picked up those logs. They brought them to a different site, and then the four-wheel drive groups with their you know, vehicles and trailers, we would load their vehicles, and then they would drive up here, and we would unload. And that was our biggest concern. We had to come up and put all the assets, or all the important parts of this fence, up there, ready to go, so that on Saturday, we didn't have to haul anything else up there. With five Jeeps and over 60 volunteers, after four days of work, the Lone Peak 4x4 members were able to build the fence that will survive the harsh mountain conditions for years to come. I was just really impressed that something of that magnitude could be done, working along with the Forest Service people. And it's exciting to see that the four-wheel drive community can get together to help preserve some of these important things uh, that are part of history. Many individuals still see off-highway vehicles like Jeeps and ATVs as a destructive force instead of exploration tools. Projects like these are slowly helping to show OHVs and their owners for what they truly are, outdoor lovers who want to protect these lands just as much as anyone else. Get involved with a group like these groups. These groups are making a difference. They're protecting, you know, the ability to be out here and recreate and still have it be such a beautiful area. And these groups are what's making a difference for public lands. We've had an ethic of turning things back better than they were before if we can. And, and to stay on the trail and, and do these things. We all show thanks in different ways. But for public land users, there's no better form of gratitude than a day of service in the outdoors. From Public Lands Day 2012, I'm Don Dunwell.